everybody and welcome to a new series on Slime Rancher. Now we've already played before, but since there's not much to do anymore, we've kind of done most of the game, I thought, why don't we load a bunch of mods and just do what some stuff. Now, if you're wondering how to get the mod, I'm not going to be linking them into the description because that is way too much work and I don't even remember the mods. Luckily they do mention them here. But if you do want to download mods, I recommend the Nexus Mod Loader. Um, if you have any issues though, don't come to me asking for help because it took me a while to get this going. Too, so I might, I'm probably not going to be able to help you. Anyway, I accidentally kicked continue and I hope I accidentally didn't just corrupt the world. But uh, we're going to make a, oh that was a fail and a half. Modded YouTube world can uh, go. I don't know what's going on with that. But we're going to make a new game. And what should we do for an image? You know, I've never really done any of the foods so, or liquids. So let's just do... Let's do uh, mint mango. Or, yeah, we'll do a mint mango. And this will be modded uh, YouTube world. Now, we're going to do uh, Adventure because, you know, we've got a couple mods here and there. And I say a couple, but we've got a, quite a bit. Um, <laughs> uh, so, we've got, um, we've got many, many, we've got, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a couple mods. Um, a first day, yeah, totally a first day. Okay, anyway, so we've got a couple little mods. Not many, like, completely game-changing ones. I mean, no, we do have that. We've got a lot of plot. We've got uh, this thing, which is good for modded stuff. And I, we won't really notice many of the changes straight away. I don't even remember what mods I have. Um... But they will, we will, you will start seeing some changes. So let's get, let's get to the basics of Slime Rancher. Let's get a crowl and stuff going, some pink slimes, typical stuff. As you might notice, one of the first things is, is we have infinite sprint. Um, it also means that we have infinite jetpack as well, which is... Nice thing to have since it's just generally a good thing and it's, it's just generally a nice thing because it means that you can just jetpack around and you don't have to worry about, you know, problems. I think I might not take the pink slimes and just take the rock slimes and the tabbies because I do want to take the tabbies and it would just des de the definitely be nice to have that. Ooh, rooster eye. Um, I've also got a mod that lets us back up lucky slimes, um, quick slimes, and quick silver slimes, as well as, um, as well as lucky slimes. So you can back up all those slimes, which will be a nice thing to have. I don't know why I'm bringing Pogo through with me. Because I don't... We won't be able to use it because we're going to have rock tabbies. And they're going to... Actually, I think what we'll go and do is grab some heartbeats. Um, we'll go and head back and we'll grab some heartbeats. Because that's what the rock slime's favorite food is. And if we get to growing them, that would be nice. Haha! <laughs> See that? That's another little feature that I've got there. So we could just be like, POW! And we can just store up the crates, which is really nice. It's also the same for the toys. So we can store up the toys if we uh, need to. I've got to, how am I going to get up here? I think you, I know you can get up here with, uh, with a basic jetpack. I don't, I think you might, I don't think you'll be able to do it without one. I even know if there is any up there. Okay, well, we'll have to get a jetpack. 
That's going to be at the priority. We'll just click on this. Because we can. Um, so let's go. And we won't do the tabbies. Um, because they can be a bit... They are very jumpy. And especially if we're going to make tabby rock lagos. Which tabby slimes are very bouncy. When they're lagos, they're even bouncier. So we want to. We don't want to get tabby slimes in there until we can get high walls and an air net, um, just in case. So how much does it cost for a jetpack? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Well, that's what we're going to be getting. Um, we also would need a thingy though. Hey, seafood acquired. Feed it to your slimes. What does it cost to make a sl uh, garden? Two fifty. We can do that right now. Although I don't have a jetpack, so that might have just been a waste. You vacked a slime. Yes, I did vac a slime. Does it want me to shoot the slime in there? Yeah, it does. I don't remember there being a tutorial this in depth, but there probably was. You required the slime port. Go and yeet it into the thingy. Okay. So, uh, we're going to need a jetpack. So that's going to be our priority. You built a garden. Hooray. We can grow things in the garden. I'm going to pick up this food since they're not eating it. And I'm also going to pick up the chicken for later. And we'll go and sleep and then wake up and make more money. And I'll just repeat this over and over and over again until we get a jetpack and then we'll get heartbeats. And then we'll get money and then I'm basically just going to repeat the process. Probably time lapse it. Okay, that didn't actually take that long. I already got the jetpack. Let's go on over here, get the beats, and then we'll continue the process until we can get stuff. So now I can fly pretty much anywhere I want. I don't actually know of the lucky and the... Really? Why would I want to bother with that? And the... What do you call? Uh, and the gold slime actually... If they actually... Like, if they will despawn like they usually do, or will they just, or will they stay? I don't know if that's going to, which one's going to be the case. Oh, I was hoping I could bang it, the chicken against it, and, you know. Two chickens for one chicken. Worth it. So yeah, we can just fly across the map now, if we want to. We could literally fly over the wall and over there. So that, and we, and we literally haven't gotten any upgrades. We just got the basic boring old jetpack and we're already flying around like literally infinitely. It's crazy stuff. I will be taking those tabby slimes. Come here. Problem with shifting all these slimes around is they... It, like, it makes just, like, this giant pile of food and slimes and plorts and just everything. And then they just go crazy and start pooping out plorts like crazy. And then evolving into giant lagos. You built a garden! Go and shove a heartbeat in it. Boop. Yay. For a second I thought he didn't even give me it. Okay, lovely ornament. I don't know what I'm going to do with the ornaments because we don't have that thingy that lets you store them. So I'm just going to put them... I'll put them along here. I've never gotten that ornament before. At least I don't think I have. Okay, so we need to get more money. So let's continue time lapsing until we get both high walls and a... So I'll meet I'll uh, meet you again when we've got high walls and a air net.
I seemingly also found something else out. The mod seemingly doesn't just remove the the fact that the limit of how much like any power you can put through it. It also seemingly didn't remove the limit of how much you can um how much how high you can go. Cause like I'm just flying across the area. Like I can go all the way over here. There may be an, a wall here, but I can go above it. If I try it, it just takes a while. I think I can go above it. Yeah, there. It's a big wall, though. Wow, they've covered like half the whole map in this with this wall. Okay, anyway. We can't go in, in any of these places because of how, you know, ridiculously high these invisible walls are. Where we can fly all the way out. And then do a wee boop. Sell a bunch of money. And then we can get high walls. We're gonna, I mean, air net. We're gonna need a poor collector. That's gonna be our next priority. Obviously, because we're going to need it. Ha ha! Hold on, we just got to do this, and then they'll all evolve. We'll mix the plots around. There we go. Money making! Then there's tons of money in there. So now we need to get $500. And, well, it's going to be quite hard. Because there's a lot of... Most of the ports are getting used, so... Wow. We might have a bit too many slimes. Luckily, I could just suck them up. And throw them back in. Yeah, that's another mod. So many mods. Okay. Let's spawn. Re, le, pfft, let's sleep. There's gonna be a lot of plots in there, so they're, they're probably gonna get to eat. Oh, yeah, we're definitely running out of space in there. And there's so many more slimes. They're like four times the size. Yeah, way too many. Yeah, way, way too many. Way too many. There's so many. Okay, yeah, definitely too many. Luckily, we could just suck them up. Yeah. The sound it makes is kind of satisfying, to be honest. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's just suck everything up, including the slimes. We gotta be careful though, because they do so much damage. Oh, I can only I can only can hold ten. Okay. Let's just go and sell this and hope that it's enough to get a plot collector. I have hopes. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. I don't think the game really expects you to throw this many slimes in quick succession, but mods don't care what the game thinks. Yes, get all the money. Get all the plots. There we go. It didn't work the first time. All the plots. Perfect. Okay, now we're in the money-making business. We can actually start getting things done. That are actually interesting. Alright. We've got Pulse Wave. Cool. Okay, let's go. Now we can make serious money because these guys are money-making machines. Um, I would love to upgrade the farm, though. So I think that's what we'll do next. Um, if we have a look, uh, we don't really need any of this. I mean, we might need an auto-feeder, but that's about it. But this definitely needs to be upgraded. More yield, faster production. So, 
definitely stuff we want to get. Because these slimes need so much and not get they're just not getting enough. Not getting fed enough. Most of these ports will get turned more of these ports will get turned into money. Um, and less will be turned into evolving slime. There might be like one or two tabby or rock slime or rock slimes in there, but overall, yeah, most of this is just money. The majority is just money. Oh, oh, oh well. Look at that money rack up. That is gonna be so so much. We're gonna we're gonna be bajillionaires by the end of this, and this isn't even like the max harvest. Like, look, we can still upgrade. We got like we these guys need more food than we're giving them. We're not give we're straight up not giving them enough food. Just every time we sleep, we just make hundreds of dollars. It's just great. We'll just upgrade and upgrade and upgrade. It's just great stuff. Okay. We just It's just the same thing. We sleep in the morning. We wake up. We go get up. We go over. We grab our little crops. Oh, there's, there's a lot this time. Oh, because we got the sprinklers and the thingies now. So, way more. We throw them in. We collect the rest because we don't have... We need to upgrade our backpack. That's what we need to do. That's what's called, cool, right? Backpack. Am I the only one who's excited for Slime Rancher 2? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's excited for Slime Rancher 2. The game looks amazing. The graphics just look great. And after watching some YouTubers actually explain the game... Yes, as a YouTuber, I do watch videos myself. <laughs> I don't, I don't spend all day making videos or doing schoolwork or whatever. I do sometimes take breaks and watch YouTube myself. And that's actually why I became a YouTube myself. Anyway, um, when I do watch people that, like, explain it, I realize how, like, how my, much of a deal is. Like, it's, there's a, it's... Oh, this is so much better with infinite energy. Ah! Um, how much of a big deal it is. Like, the graphics are just great. All the new slimes are just adorable. I hope that they add multiplayer. I do. I actually do hope. I do, as much as I do, pretty much entirely do single player on my channel i do really like doing multiplayer you know playing with friends and stuff and that's that's you know it's i would ho i i think slime ranch would be great with multiplayer so personally i would be very happy if they added multiplayer to slime ranch 2. anyway let's get an auto feeder and uh yeah then we'll just repeat the process i'll be done when i have like a million bajillion dollars
making money is great and all. I think this time we are going to try and uh, unlock the pink Gordo doodad so we can get into probably the moss blanket. Yeah, I think we'll go to the moss blanket. That's usually the next step. So we've got about 10 in here. And then we'll just run around gathering as much food as we can. Mine. 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 Just grab everything I can. Look, more more things I can spend my on um, my immense amount of money, my immense amount of profit on. <laughs> this usually has like a million pogo fruit on it. Never mind. Give me the chickens. Chicken, chicken, chicken. A lot of chickens over here. More chickens! Oh. I just want to open this crate. But I don't have a... This is the only downside to having vacuable crates. It's the fact that... It means you have problems like that. If I can, I want to try and save the pogo fruits and the harpies as well. Harpies because I need, I can feed them, and the pogo fruits because there's another one of these guys that drop a key. Cloudy ornament, yay! There's a guy over here in like a cave. There's a guy over here in a cave. A Gordo in a cave, and uh, I want to feed the Gordo. It's definitely not going to be enough, and I I knew that wasn't going to be enough. So I think if we sleep, we will get, um, we need a lot of fruit. And I think if we sleep, we can get the, the giant tree to drop a million pogo fruit. Because that always has a lot of pogo fruit, and we can use all that pogo fruit, so. What if is not doing the best job? Though there are a lot of them. They're not doing a bad job either, though, <laughs> apparently. Okay, uh, yeah. Heartbeats go in here, and then we'll put our little ornament guy right there. We'll sleep until morning, and, um, we'll f do all the slime stuff after I, um, after we do this, because I really, really want to get that. <laughs> I just realized because I binded the arrow keys to my um my mouse, I can actually use my mouse to move around. It's funny. I did that for the, for like games. Well, I did that because like I wanted to be able to go like up and down without needing to use the keyboard. Does that makes sense. So I could just use the use the map. Did that party crate just give me nothing? Okay, well, these pogo fruits are going to be done by the next day, I can tell. So that's what we'll do. We'll go and sell all the ports and stuff, and then we'll, the next day we should have a million pogo fruit, which will be amazing. Pogo fruit seems to, ta seems to take longer than, you know. Tank boost mark three. 
that's gonna be come that's gonna come in handy um, especially for all this so we'll just do this and that that because a lot of the time when it comes to like stuff like this food and just the plots especially there's so much that it's like you can't do it it is 20 I mean whatever Oh, cause you start off with twenty. I was going I was like, I was confused because I'm like, why would you? Why you? You would think that it would be Mark Four that you would unlock fifty, but no, it's Mark Three because you start off with twenty, not ten. This is what I always do. I always do the same thing, even though they're not always the same profitability. Like as you can see, something like I don't know, phosphor rock seems to be pretty good. Well, phosphor is in the up arrow, rocks in the down arrow, but you know what I mean. Would be more valuable, but I just find the, the rock tabby Largo to be the most money making out of all of them. That one and the the honey boom, as well as the crystal hunter, those are all what I would recommend if you want to make the most money. So you got your early, your mid, and your late game. Because hunters are hard. Crystals, not so much. But hunters, they're... You can't get them in much quantity. I mean, they're not hard, hard, but they're... It requires both biomes. So, you know... That is in the vanilla game. See, we're going to be messing around with modded. And we have a look at modded. What we could get is gold plots. Because we can actually get them. Because, well, we can pick up gold slimes. Uh, as well as things like singularity plots. Um, and we can also get pure saber slime. Just the pure slime. Which is interesting. But we can actually do it. Okay, let's sleep, and then in the morning we'll rush quickly to get the... Oops. Uh, we'll rush to quickly get the pogo fruits. Any extra pogos, uh, we'll chuck in the wild, I guess. Oh, yeah, look at all those pogos. Perfect. No! You shall not eat them. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. There might be another pogo tree here and there. Um... Because we need, we need more than... I don't think we'll, 20 will be enough. I think we're going to need more than that. Uh, well, I don't see any fruits. And we're, I'm not going to go down that pathway. Because uh, the thing about the pathways... Um, there's not really going to be anything there. So, yeah. Please be enough. Oh, wait, I can unlock both areas. Uh, watch this one put this last cube berry be than enough. I swear, I swear if it is, that would be absolutely hilarious. Might actually be able to find some cube berries over there. Now that I think about it. In fact, we might be able to get to the moss blanket and indigo quarry. Maybe we should get the indigo quarry since the indigo quarry has a giant tunnel where the moss blanket we could just jetpack up. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm going to do that. I think that makes a logical sense. Like, with the moss blanket, we could just do this and then we could just fly over. Where with the indigo quarry, we could still do that, but it would be more inconvenient. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll fly over to the indigo quarry. I'll unlock the indigo quarry. And then I'll fly over to the moss blanket. And at the moss blanket is where I will... Do... I will do what I need to do. <laughs> yeah. I will do what I need to do. Because, yeah, we follow this pathway. This is a giant... This is a pretty big old cave. That goes all the way over in, into here. Before we can finally, you know, fly over. We can fly over to up over there. But I think this will just make more sense. Welcome to the Indigo Quarry. Where everything is uh, wants to kill you with radiation, explode on your face, or, or uh, I don't know, something else. Uh -oh. 
Okay. Let's go and... Why can't I fly up? There we go. Let's go to the moss blanket. Which I believe is this way. Actually, we could go and do the quantum slimes. And I think about it. Yeah, we could just go straight... Forget everything. Just go straight for the quantum slime. <laughs> this is not how you're supposed to play the game. But we could just fly over the wall. And then write... Oh... Oh, uh, that might be a problem. How big have they made this? Okay, they've literally made it all the way up to the skybox. Never mind. They haven't. So into the ancient ruins we go. <laughs> oh, this is great. We, we just cheesed our way into the ancient ruins. We're getting quantum slime before we even unlock... Before we even unlock the, the moss blanket, we have quantum slimes. This is just beautiful. This is why I love the beauty of mods. <laughs> Look, we haven't even done that or that, but we still got... Th that's just hilarious. Okay. Uh, we won't be able to do the same with the sand one, though, because the sand one, you need the teleporter to do that, and we can't, we need to get quantum ports to do that, so we won't be able to do the same. Actually, we still might be able to do that. If we fly directly this way, constantly, we would get there. Actually, we can get to literally everywhere. It's all on one big map. If we fly in the right direction. So, that is an interesting thing. We could fly to the, um... Sandy dude thing. Ooh, puddle! I think I can make you into a Largo. Uh, here, I'll try it. Puddle. Quantum. Excuse me. Yay! Quantum Puddle Lago. Ah, oh, the beauty. Oh, look. The Mulago mod has made it look like a fusion. The fusion thingy. Frisbee away! Wait, you're not a frisbee. Why aren't you acting like a frisbee? And what did you just hit? Oh, another invisible barrier. Oh, he's dead. Luckily, we could just fly over this one, too. So they've encased this whole thing in a giant invisible barrier. A walkable invisible barrier. <laughs> why am I doing this? I don't even know why I'm doing this. They clearly intended you not to be able to do this. Like, even if you got on the tippity top of the tree in that hill, you wouldn't be able to do this. That's why that's a giant hill there. You're not supposed to be able to do, do this, but I cheesed it. <laughs> I just, that's it. I did it unintentional. I did it, um, I did it the unintended way. Collecting all the boom slimes. Must bank it's the bleh. The moss blanket is pretty beautiful place. Is it supposed to be like a pot of honey? This kind of looks like one. Do we just ride up here, over here, and then we can go, and then this way, we should go to the honey slimes? Just... Hi! You're no longer... Oh, you're still angry. Well, you're in my backpack now, so... I don't know what you're going to do about that. Enjoy the ocean. Uh, most of you made it. Good enough. Honey. Honey. <gasps> Mint mango. Ah, uh, quantum slimes. Don't really care about them. Mint mangoes are useful. Because we're going to need them for the thingy. We're adding an invasive species to this environment. <laughs> Technically, we could literally take them and make them into their the, the, the Lago we want while they're still in their native environment. Where's the... Wherever the tar is, it's probably under the water drowning. 
Okay, let's get the the honey slimes doing their thing. So we'll put a, a, another corral. And we will do high wall. Oh, I can't purchase high walls. Just don't jump out, okay? And don't explode each other out either. I don't have any money at all. Okay, I am poor. And I haven't put these guys food in the auto feeder. Not doing anything. Hey! No exploding! Actually, you can explode. Just no exploding each other out. I don't really see you doing it. <laughs> these boom slimes, man. Okay, I need to hurry up. <laughs> They're escaping. No, I don't want to. I don't want to water the crops. I mean the slimes. Although you can water the crops, I don't know why you would want to do that though. Because you do have automatic sprinklers. Okay, I just need enough money for high walls or an air. One of the two. Any of the two. Ah, uh, probably a. I don't know. Just probably an air net. All right, quick, before they escape, before they make little tar slimes. Get here. Get over here. End it. Bye. Ha-ha, now you can't escape. You can make towels all you like, but you're not escaping anytime soon. That end and it's going to bust very quickly. Uh, we need to get high walls. Okay. Now I can stay calm. Let's buy a garden. Grow the mint mangoes in it, and then we'll give you guy a mint mango. Which will start the whole process. Yep, we already got the Largos going. Eventually, these guys are going to have to go, but for now, we will keep them. Hey! No escaping! Oh, I can just tell that Airnet's going to break any second now. How come we've unlocked boom plots, but not and and even crystal plots, but not honey plots? What? Well, that doesn't make sense. Oh boy, he's he's a uh, feisty slimes. Ah, there we go, nutrient soil. All right, let's sleepy sleeps, and then when the morning morns, we will get all our money muns. Mostly from the rock tabbies because these guys are going to be doing, making lagos and stuff. And they also don't have a floor collector. And I am not going in there. I don't care what you say. I'm not going in there. Mostly probably going to make this area a crowd area. Maybe farms over there. And then, I don't know, free range over there. And then food over, more food for chickens over there. Calm your butts down. Oh my, they're already escaping. Okay, I know what I need. It's a music box. Desperately need a music box. Hey, what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Get in. No, no. No, 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 no. They're all, oh, look, that. No. No. You don't even eat that. You eat meat and fruit. Why are you going in there? Stop! 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 Get in! Gonna see slimes! Okay, let's turn this guy into money maker. Money maker. There we go. Now you come here. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. It's everything's calmed down. We need a music box. That's what we need. We need a music box. Because that was mayhem. We need to settle them down. And we also need a plot collector. That would be nice if we can get that. Okay. Just stay. Don't. Don't explode. Beautiful music, okay? Music is nice. I said don't explode. I thought the music box was prevent that. Well, at least reduce. Well, actually, it's there to reduce it. 
And it does, uh, doesn't seem to reduce it. Um, I'm hearing a lot of explosions. What would be the best thing after, um, Hunter Crystal? Because they're pretty good money makers. Looks like, um, that thing and, uh, Tangle and the Crystal one. Mosaic. Tangle and Mosaic. They are the ones that... Uh, after that, once you go in the glass desert and stuff. Alright, let's buy these guys some stuff. Let's buy them a plot collector. And that's all I can get. So, <laughs> that's good though, because I'm not going in there, okay? You can, you can forget any chance of me going in there. There's no way in the world I'm doing that. And oh my goodness, there's a lot of money in there. Come on. Suck it up, machine. Suck up the... Well, technically it's poop. Won't worry about that, though. Okay. Let's... Let's... The next thing I want to do is I want to go to Ogden's... Ogden Doodad. Whatever his name is. The Ogden guy. And to do that, I... Uh, I need to do him his mission. Um... Yeah, I don't care about your mission, so I'm just going to sleep twice and call it a day. And we'll uh, give them their food in the next day. Also, where's the, where's the rooster that's making that cock a doo -da -doo noise? Interesting. So let's go and see if we can get Ogden. I think he mostly wants food from memory. Please be Ogden. Uh, I don't want you. Is he letting me in or is it just a message? I'm a sorry manager. Uh, oh, now he's look. Okay, now we can get in touch in the range. The thingy. Please. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Ogd Ogdi Ogdens and the doodads. Pogos. Oh, a gold slime! Hi! Gimme. And yes, this will allow us to make like a bajillion dollars since, you know. Every time they, um. Because we could just spam food at their face and then they'll just make us millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. Why do I have to be an odd onion? Hey! The mod's supposed to let me pick it up. I don't have any money. <laughs> well, I got an idea. That's how to make millions of dollars right there. <laughs> Ooh, actually not that bad. Could have been worse. To get rid of these odd onions, I'll just do that. I'm going to get rid of this crop plot as much as I don't want to. Leaving all the food just plop out the ground and I'll sell this. I'll give these guys all the carrots and odd onions because they, they deserve more food. Make sure to like space it out evenly. Even though it's not their favourite, they'll still like it. Gotta make sure not to accidentally throw crystal quartz in there. Now, I'm pretty sure if you have a gold slime and you throw a plot at it, yeah, it makes it sec another plot. If you throw a gold plot at a gold slime, do you get a another plot? You don't. Okay, that's annoying. Kinda. Here's the plan. So the plan is, is we go here, we find a cramped space, like here. Good enough. And then we just throw plots at him. What if we made a corral and put an air net on it? Then we just put a gold slime in it and then just filled it with all the chickens that keep spawning and pretty much everything. Yeah, the chickens are endless. They're always being endless. There's the next batch. I know they're there. Yeah, I knew it. 
Then we'll just cover this air. How did you turn? Oh, you turned into a turned into a gold crystal. And now, oh, that's just now you have to eat to get the. Oh, yo, that's just annoying. Why do I have to throw plorts at him? That was a dumb mistake. Well, um, that was a waste of a gold slime. Just leave that corral there for later and we'll throw him away. He doesn't have any purpose. We'll have to get another one. Dumb mistake. Well. Anyway, let's talk to Ogden and, yeah. So, Star Mail, Ogden. Oh, you're just watching my eyes. I think I have to sleep. Okay. Well, uh, so, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Like my video, subscribe. So, yeah. Bye.